Josh Moore here, down by the banks of the White River in South Wellington, Vermont. It's uh, October 21st, 2017. We're coming right up on the 500th anniversary of the Protestant Reformation when Martin Luther nailed his 95 Theses to the Castle Church door in Wittenberg, Germany in 1517. When we think about life, we look at um, stunning natural beauties like what I have behind me here in the White River and in the mountains here, the Green Mountains. <clears throat> I can't but help be drawn to make an analogy to the time of the Reformation. As you well know, clean water, clean air are essential to life and it's a part of our, our duty as human beings to protect that and to preserve that, um, that our children and our grandchildren and future generations might have a world um, that is worth living in. And in many ways, that is what the reformers were fighting for in the 16th century. Men like Martin Luther and Philip Melanchthon, uh, Catherine von Bora, um, Olympia Morata, uh, John Calvin, um, Ulrich Zwingli, and many others. Um, names that come to mind. These, these men and women were fighting um, for the pure truths of the gospel. And what they had found that just like in our world today, sadly in our industrialized society, that uh, many chemicals and things have been dumped into the streams and rivers, making them unhealthy to drink, that the church at the time, sadly, um, had been introducing uh, ideas and doctrines into the water of the gospel, so to speak and it was they become unhealthy um, and even dangerous and poisonous for the people to drink. Um, doctrines that taught that a person needed X, Y, and Z to be saved in addition to faith, in addition to Jesus, there were all these other things that we needed to do uh, to be saved and the reformer says that is not what God has revealed to us in his word and in the Bible. So um, they wanted to bring the church back to a simple faith and trust to that teaching that a person is saved merely by the simple faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, just an embrace of who Jesus was and what he did for us on the cross in his life and in his death, that alone is enough to save a person. His merits, his righteousness were sufficient to make us stand before God and stand we will in that great day when, we, uh, when God returns and, and uh, separates the sheep from the ghost. The reformers wanted to take us back to those simple truths of the gospel, purify the water as it were, and make it healthy to drink once again. These are the things uh, that Protestants want to celebrate, these simple truths. We don't want to make it about, you know, it's, it's not a thing that, that for us anyways is, um, it's not an anti-Catholic thing. It's just a simple celebration of that glorious good news that a person is saved not by what they do, but by the simple faith and trust in the Lord Jesus. His work, who he was and what he did for us is sufficient. That is the pure water of life of the gospel that can save a person. Anyway, that thought came to me as I was standing by the water here, and I hope that blesses you in some way. Uh, happy Reformation Day. Take care. God bless.